This is Delia's White Ghost, the brainchild of Geoffrey Delia, who's probably best known for his conehead squid, which is definitely one of the more popular patterns around here in Puget Sound. Uh, this pattern's not as well known, but it's certainly one to have in your fly box. I actually had the pleasure of running into Geoffrey while out fishing last fall and had a nice chat with him. I must say he's an extremely pleasant gent. Anyway, uh, this isn't a fly I use all that often, but it's, it's one to try where you have a swift current in deeper water. You can let it sink and just hold it back and let the current animate the hackle, or you can retrieve it very slowly and that might just do the trick for you. Now this looks very simple, but it can be a little bit tricky to try uh, if you're not used to working with partridge feathers. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. My hook for this is a Gamakatsu SS15 saltwater hook in size 8. Now you don't want to make this any larger than a size 8. And I've got one here where I've already pinched down the barb and I've added a 1 inch, uh, 1 8 inch gold bead. One of these. I'm going to clamp my hook in with the eye pointing downwards so that the bead doesn't bounce its way back along the shank when I make my thread base, which really irritates me. Now, any eight or white thread will do. I'm using ultra thread. So start your thread just behind the bead and then wrap it backwards to a point just opposite where the barb would have been. And I'll reset the hook to a horizontal position and trim away the excess. What I've got here is a Hungarian partridge skin, which if you're fortunate enough to have one, is what you want to use. You can buy loose Hungarian partridge feathers in bags, but they're mostly just fluff and dust. You may get 10 or 15 usable feathers in a bag. If you do splash out a few more bucks and go for the select or premium bags, you'll find a few more usable feathers, but they're still not going to be as good as you'll find on a skin like this. So I got mine from Cabela's, and it's really good quality. There are hundreds of feathers here, and it's going to last me a good long time. For this fly, I'm going to use feathers from here, this top part of the wing near the breast. Now here's the feather I've selected for the tail, which has some nice black and white mottling on it. I'm going to just bring up some of the fibers 90 degrees from the stem, and then even up the tips, like so, and just break them away. Now, you want to carefully transfer the clump of fibers to your left hand and the length of the tail should be about about the length of the hook shank. I'm going to bring the thread up between my finger and thumb then bind it down tight like that and then repeat that once more. Just check that and then wrap down the butt ends. Now looking at that, I've actually got a few more fibers than I really need. Eight to ten would be perfect, but in the interest of continuity, I'm just going to go with that. You can wrap back on the tail just to get it sitting horizontally. I'm going to create a body with light bright dubbing, and the one I like to use is this polar pearl, which has a little bit of gold mixed in. And light bright is not the easiest of materials to apply. If you're patient and take your time, it'll usually all come out right in the end. And you see it's got very long fibers, and it's quite coarse, so it doesn't stick particularly well to the thread. So it really helps if you don't try to add too much at any one time. Once you've got it started on the hook, you can tighten it up. Just keep, 
keep it tight as you as you wrap. Sometimes it will get away with you from you, but generally just giving it an extra twist will keep it in place. I'm going to add just a bit more at this point. And that should do it. I don't like to have too many stray fibers, so I'm going to clip some of, of them away. And it's, it's best to do this um, before you add your hackle. Just a few more of that. do it for now. Now here's the feather I've selected for my hackle and that should be about as long as the body. And the stems of these feathers are, are much too thick to tie in so I'm going to prepare the tip for tying in. I attach my hackle plier right at the point and I'm going to sweep back all the fibers to expose just a short tip section. like that. And I'm going to clip that really short. I'm going to place the cut side of the feather towards the hook and then tie it down and the tip will most likely just disappear itself behind the bead and you won't have anything to trim away. Now I should have done this already but I'm going to carefully strip off the top side of the feather like that as there'd be just too many fibers if we were to use both sides. And I'm going to snip away a little bit of the stem to keep it short because it's easier to control if it's shorter. Now I'll reattach my hackle plier to the stem. This is much, much easier than trying to use your fingers. And I've got a plier with uh, a handle that rotates which makes it even easier to control this winding process. And I'm just going to take my time and keep winding it until I get down to the bare stem. Which is there. I'm going to cross my thread to trap it. I'm just going to let the weight of the hackle plier keep the stem in place while I continue to, uh, to tie that off. And I'll just separate some of those fibers. And at this point I can cut away the waste, taking care not to cut my thread. I'm just going to hold everything back and take two or three more turns right in front. And then add a whip finish. Just clip away that waste. going to get rid of that strand of stray dubbing. Now to finish off, you, 
can add a tiny drop of varnish or in this case I'm going to use UV resin over that knot to protect it and this will also just help to keep that bead um, nicely anchored at the front of the hook give that a quick zap with the UV and there we have it so it may take you a couple of ties before you get the hang of this one but it is a worthwhile addition to your box so I hope you've enjoyed this if you did please hit subscribe Thank you for watching.